हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू अनदर सेशन ऑफ ब्रेड मेकिंग एज वी हैव डिस्कस द हिस्ट्री इंट्रोडक्शन वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ डो ईस्टेड डो एंड वी हैव आल्सो डिस्कस अबाउट द इंग्रेडिएंट्स रोल एंड फंक्शन इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द वेरियस प्रिंसिपल्स एंड वेरियस मेथड्स व्हिच हैव बीन यूज्ड फॉर मेकिंग ब्रेड इन दिस सेशन वी विल लर्न about the methods of various kinds which have been used for making bread with various other flours let's start there are many satisfactory methods of bread making given below are some of the methods that may be employed for making bread like straight dough method sponge and dough method ferment and dough method salt delay method and no time dough method you can use any of the method as per your organization and as per your recipe for making bread we will discuss all of the methods in brief in our next slides spread dough method in this method all ingredients are mixed in one go at this mean dough is made in one stage and at one go or one operation all the ingredients are mixed together and the dough is fermented for a predetermined time the fermentation time of the straight dough depends on the strength of the flour A strong flour requires more fermentation time to mature adequately flour which requires 2 to 3 hours for maturing should be used for making bread by straight dough method flour that takes very long period like hard flour for maturing should not be used because during prolonged fermentation period it is very difficult to control the temperature of dough and rise in temperature will cause acidic taste in the bread and flavor in the bread will not be as good as you require sponge and dough method in this method a starter is used for making dough some of the bakers also called it 60 40 or 70 30 dough as we all know that strong flour is not used for making straight dough in that condition the sponge and dough method is the one in which we can use the strong flour a quarter of the amount of the total flour needed for the final dough is removed and mixed with sufficient water to make very soft dough into this mixture a small quantity of yeast and salt are mixed and allowed to ferment slowly over a long period the time can be regulated by amount of yeast used and temperature at which the sponge is set when the sponge has cradle the production of an increased army of yeast cell the remaining ingredients are added and the dough is made in this method it takes nearly 8 to 10 hours or minimum of 1 hours to make a dough by this method a flavorful and a tasteful bread is been prepared with a stronger flour also ferment and dough method in this method yeast is fermented so that the speed of fermentation can be increased this is the variation of sponge and dough method very often a bread formula may contain milk egg substantial quantity of fat and sugar all these formula ingredients will have a retarding effect on yeast activity if all the formula yeast part of flour yeast food and sufficient water are mixed together the yeast get initially an environment which is conducive to vigorous activity and at the end of fermentation time it is a fit condition to take on extra load of fermentation in presence of milk egg and excessive fat fermentation time of ferment depends on 
the formula of desired product but very often it becomes a matter of individual preference and a fermentation containing milk should be guarded against over fermentation as it will develop more than desired quantity of lactic acid which in turn will affect the flavor taste and texture of product so in this method we generally you uh, activate the yeast first and then we mix it with a remaining dough salt delay method in salt delay method salt is added on the later stage this is slightly a variation of straight dough where all the ingredients are mixed except salt and fat as a salt has a controlling effect on enzymatic enzymatic action on yeast the speed of fermentation of salt less dough will be faster and a reduction in total fermentation time will be faster the salt is added at the knockback stage and the method of adding salt at the later stage may be according to the convenience of individual bakery or baker it may be shifted on the dough and mixed or it may be cream with fat and salt whatever way is cho chosen for mixing the salt only 3/4 of actual mixing time mixing should be given initially and 1/4 mixing at the time of adding salt due to absence of salt the fermentation speed is enhanced and gluten is matured in reasonable shorter time so by this method we can have a lesser preparation time but we can get a good quality bread no time dough method in this method some of the steps of making bread are also removed or omitted sometimes more yeast is added so that the speed of fermentation can be increased the dough is fermented in the usual manner it is just allowed a brief period of 30 minutes for it to recover from the strain of mixing since the dough is fermented the two function of fermentation like production of gas and conditioning of gluten are achieved to some extent by increasing the quantity of yeast by making the dough little slacker and warmer although it is possible to make fairly acceptable bread by using this method the product has poor keeping quality and due to the absence of fermentation and the gluten the starch are not conditioned sufficient to retain the moisture so this dough is basically prepared when we don't have a preparation time and we have to give the order fast in this method we will omit some of the method some of the preparation steps and yes we will increase the yeast that by this we will get a less self like bread and it will hard uh, lose its moisture really fast principle of bread making these are the following principles which are considered for a flavorful bread and the steps should be taken carefully to obtain a well raised flavorful well structured and fault free bread the first is conversion of starch wheat flour starch is partially converted into the sugar which is being used by yeast during fermentation producing alcohol with stimulusly release of co2 gas is responsible for porous open honeycomb texture of the big bread the next one is mechanical stretching the hydrated wheat protein forms gluten fiber with that stretch mechanically to obtain a fine silky structure this structure remain permanent when the protein is denatured during baking the stretching of gluten is partially achieved by development of co2 gas during yeast fermentation and 
partly by mechanical mixing flavor development bread flavor is because of the alcohol and other compound generated during yeast fermentation together with flavor compound form during baking it is achieved there is various other steps which are been which will be discussed in our next video and then you will learn more about these principles thank you very much for this session this is the end of this video in our next session we will discuss about various steps of bread making thank you very much